Claudia here from Create with Claudia. Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. I am a quilter and a crafter and that's what I do my videos about. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a product review. I normally don't do product reviews, maybe one or two of them, but this one really intrigued me. A little while ago, the people over at Molly Ollie reached out to me and were wondering if I'd be interested in taking a look at their Mo uh, Mimo Caddy, M-I-M-M-O Caddy, and that's this gorgeous gray felt caddy. I looked it up online, looked at a little bit of information about it, and I jumped at the chance. This caddy was provided to me at no cost. However, my review and all of the opinions I express are 100% my own. So let me just tell you a little bit about the caddy before I get started, because I do want to unpack this and show you what all I was able to fit into this caddy. The, the caddy itself measures about 14 and a half, and this is all per their website. This measures 14 and a half inches long, nine and a half inches wide, and it's about seven inches tall. It's made of a really nice felt. It's a nice sturdy caddy, and when it's all empty, it actually still stands up on its own. It has a nice liner, which I didn't read if it was uh, wipeable or not. Or not. It, it does feel like it might be. I need to look that up still. The materials that were used are chemical free, which I really like too. As a quilter, I would use this caddy for a number of things. First off, if I'm going to a guild meeting, this would be perfect to take some supplies. Let's say you're going and they're going to be making a quilt or you're giving a presentation or something like that. This is ideal. It's also great for a quilt retreat, maybe a weekend with friends, that sort of thing. Or if you're going on vacation and you just want to put all of your things uh, in one batch, uh, excuse me, in one bag, and um, you're just going to have it in the back seat ready to go as soon as you get to your uh, location. Maybe you're a craft teacher, quilt teacher, that sort of thing. Again, this is a perfect thing to bring all your supplies in. It's nice, it's handy. The other thing I said, when it's empty, now this is going to be heavy because I have a lot of things in it, including an iron. But uh, once it's empty, it is as light as a feather. I was really surprised at how light it was when it came when it was shipped to me. I'm going to love using this caddy for a couple of reasons. Uh, the main reason is my studio is actually in the basement of our house, and usually in the evenings when I'm finished working, I will go upstairs, watch TV, or do whatever, and I like to do some like hand piecing. I make yo-yos, uh, hand quilting, binding of quilts, that sort of thing, or other crafts, and it's a lot easier to have this nice caddy to carry things up and down the stairs uh, for me. The other thing I will use this for definitely is just studio storage. Uh, as you can see, I film from this room and I will probably, you might even see it in the background on my shelf if I have things I need to put for a particular video, that kind of thing. And over where I have my sewing table, uh, I have lots of little storage containers, but this will be nice. I can keep it all in one place. So let's get started and unpack the goodies that are in my bag so you can see how much fits in this. Now I will start out by saying I normally probably would never pack it quite this full, um, but I just wanted to show off how much storage I could get in this caddy. So we're going to start in the front first. There are three nice open pouches and you can see I have my scissors in one. Now one thing I would suggest or I highly recommend, I wouldn't put scissors uh, without a protective cover on them. You don't want to go right through that felt. You would might tear them if you put them in without a protective cover. And uh, also I'm going to lay everything out just so you can get an idea of how much is in this, box, in this caddy. Moving over, so that's it for that pouch. For the next one, I have some marking tools. If I'm taking a quilt somewhere and I'm going to mark it, I have two different marking tools. One thing I love to do wherever I am is I like, if I have an idea for a quilt, I'll sketch it out. And I have a little notebook you'll see later, but I also have all of my pencils that I use. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> so that's in these front three pouches, three nice open pouches. Let's roll it around here. In these three pouches, there's three more pouches on this side, I have some clips in case I want to show a block, hang a block up just so I can look at it better or that kind of thing, or even just a small quilt. These are pretty small. I, I have bigger uh, clips too, but those are nice. They fit there. In the middle, and this is again when I said I like to do yo-yos. I love making yo-yos when I'm sitting and watching TV, so I have a couple of yo-yo makers. And some more pencils because you can't have enough pencils and enough colors. <laughs> All right, moving to this end, and this, I love this pouch here. This is another open pouch, but it's a lot longer. And I just want to show you, I have two quilting rulers in here. We have one that's about six inches, and then I have one that is, let's just double check, it's eight and a half inches, and that fit snugly, but it fit in that side pocket. So that's really handy when you're going maybe to a guild meeting and you're working on a quilt. An eight and a half inch ruler is a pretty nice size. I also have applique paper. You never know if you need that if you're doing a quick applique shape. <laughs> and then one of my favorite parts of this bag is on this end. This is a zip closed end. Let me move that out of the way a little bit. 
It zips open, nice easy zipper, and has some elastic in it. It has a lot of hook and loop closures where I can put things. In here, I put some sewing needles, some hand sewing needles, and some sewing machine needles. I know sometimes if you go to a guild meeting or a quilt retreat, excuse me, retreat, you take your machine with you, but you need a place to put everything else. And so that's ideal, uh, this is ideal for that. But what I really like, oh wait, here's some fabric glue in case you're doing applique shapes. What I really like, for, especially for the sewing, is I can put, they have these elastic sort of holders here. You can put all kinds of things in it. I put thread in it. Now you can't put the really, really thick, big uh, spools of thread, but these are perfect and they look kind of pretty in there, I think. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, let me see if I uh, pull this up a little bit. Maybe you can see it better like that. So I was able to get five spools of thread in there and I will pull those out. Like I said, I'm emptying everything out of this. And again, the other thing that would be really nice uh, with this zip pocket is if, let's say you're going to a, a guild meeting or something, you don't want to take in your purse and a bag. Why not just put your wallet and your keys in this side pocket? It's just a little bit more secure, which is kind of nice. All right, now we're getting into the, the, uh, the center part of it. All righty, so here is the top view. I have three big uh, quilt books, and they're pretty heavy, so I'm glad they fit in there. The other thing is, and again, for those of you who do a lot of quilting on the road, I have my full-size iron. Now, I will say I would normally not put a full-size iron in here. This thing is pretty heavy, but I don't have a travel-size iron, so uh, this is what I just wanted to show you how this would fit in there, too. I have some spray base in case I'm basing a quilt. I have some other things. Let's see. Oh, here's the sketchbook I was talking about. When I'm on the road or anywhere, I like to have a sketchbook with me so I can draw out patterns if I have a, an idea for something. The other thing is a plastic container. Now this came with my sewing machine. I like to bring this places. And you can see in here, I have my rotary cutter and some um, other, let me just show, turn, switch, twist it around here. I have my rotary cutter and some sewing machine feet. I like to keep that rotary cutter safe. I would not just put that in there loose. Um, rotary cutters are pretty dangerous tools and um, they're nice in this nice hard plastic bag. And then we come, let's see, I think there's one more thing. Yeah, let's see. A couple more things before I get to the fun fabric because we all like fabric if you're a quilter. I have these two little packets. This has uh, safety pins in it. And this one has stick pins in it, straight pins, that sort of thing. And then, fun stuff now, is the fabric. I have a whole pack of charm squares. A yard of fabric here. Whoops, one of those charm squares fell off. A yard of fabric here. Another yard of fabric. Yet another one. <laughs> You can tell I like fabric. If you're a quilter, you like fabric. And yet another one. So I have four yards of fabric, plus I have two quilts. I have this one, which is about, uh, I'd say about 26, maybe 30 inches uh, square. And I just was able to roll it up so it fit nicely. And then last but not least, one more, and this is a wall quilt. It's about 42 inches square. So I got a lot of things in here. And now you can see the top of this nice caddy. So I want to show you a couple of things inside. It comes with these dividers. Again, they're fastened with those hook and loop uh, fasteners. So they do come out. So this is nice. This has the three dividers. And I'm going to show you one. It's going to make a lot of noise. Warning. They come up apart really nicely. Whoops. They stick, so that's good. <laughs> You put that in there. So now you have two pack, uh, two sections. And then if you just want one big section, you can take that and then you have one nice big section. One thing I really like and I noticed with this right away, and as a quilter, that's something I look for in clothing and anything. The stitching is really nice and really nicely reinforced all around. And I really like that here because when you're pulling out that hook and loop closure uh, fastener, it's really strong, so when you pull it apart, I didn't want to tear anything, and it definitely doesn't tear it so nicely stitched. So there's everything that was in my Mimo Caddy by Molly Ollie. I just can't believe I got that much in it, and it's really a nice handy item to have around your house, especially if you're a quilter or crafter. One thing I thought of when I was reviewing this product, 
is this would make an awesome gift for maybe a new mother, maybe a baby shower, or even a wedding shower for a baby shower. You could put that in. You could even, if you're a quilter, you could make them a little baby quilt and then put in some other goodies like baby powder, whatever, you know, lotion, uh, little onesies, little blanket, all kinds of things. Um, it's always fun to shop for babies. <laughs> and the other thing is I have a, actually a family wedding coming up this summer. And I was thinking, wouldn't that be a neat gift for a new bride, maybe for a bridal shower gift? You could put maybe a quilt or something in it, or if you didn't want to do that, maybe some household items, something from the register. I'd like to thank Molly Ollie for reaching out to me and asking me to review this product. I, it is just a great caddy to have, and you will probably be seeing it in other videos, and I know that I will be carrying it around the house. My husband's already seen it a couple of times, so it's just a, it is a really nice product. Uh, the other thing is, if you go to their website, I did notice they have it in another color. It was, I believe it's teal with a pink liner. This is the gray with this really pretty turquoise liner. Make sure to look for a coupon code. It is in the description of this video. It's a limited time offer, uh, but if you're interested in this, you could buy it. There is a link there uh, with, a coup with a discount. I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. I always love new subscribers. Thank you so much. I try to post things we weekly, excuse me. I'm not always successful, but I do try to get things up weekly. All kinds of projects, lots of free tutorials, that sort of thing. I'm also on social media at Create with Claudia, where I post things daily. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.